Today, we're going to learn about the parts of the plant. Their roots. Their roots lie below the surface of the soil. They hold the plant together and they absorb water and mineral salts. The stem. The stem holds up the plant. It also brings water and food straight from the roots to the rest of the plant. Green stems carry the nutrients during photosynthesis. Plant stems can grow into branches. Green stems are soft and flexible. Woody stems are hard and rigid. They are called trunks. Trees have trunks. The leaves. Leaves are green because of a pigment called chlorophyll and they're attached to the stem. Photosynthesis happens in the leaves, which also help the plant breathe. Leaves differ in blade and form. In autumn, light is scarce. Chlorophyll levels drop down and leaves turn yellow or brown. Leaves are made up of two parts, the petiole and the blade. The blade. This is the flat part of the leaf, which has many green food-making cells. The petiole. The petiole attaches the leaf blade to the stem. The flower. Flowering plants are also known as angiosperms. Flowers are the reproductive structures of the plant. All fruits come from flowers. Flowers contain seeds. Today, we're going to learn about photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is a process during which plants make their own food. During this process, plants transform water, sunlight, and carbon dioxide into oxygen. The photosynthesis cycle starts with plants absorbing water and mineral salts from the soil through their roots. This fluid mixture is called raw sap. Raw sap flows up the roots to the stem and travels through the rest of the plant to the leaves with the help of woody transport tissues called xylem. Carbon dioxide is absorbed through tiny pores called stomata. And right here in the leaves is where photosynthesis actually takes place. Leaf cells are made up by chloroplasts which contain a pigment called chlorophyll. Chlorophyll gives plants their green color. Chloroplasts capture light energy. Photosynthesis involves sunlight, raw sap, and carbon dioxide. During photosynthesis, raw sap becomes elaborated sap, and living tissues called phloem spread elaborated sap to the rest of the plant. This is when oxygen is released. Keep in mind that photosynthesis happens only during the day because plants need the sunlight. Don't confuse respiration with photosynthesis. Plants breathe during day and night. They absorb oxygen and release carbon dioxide. Plants are really important for the planet. They are the backbone of life on Earth. Thanks to them, we breathe clean air because plants purify it. So now you know that you shouldn't forget to respect and look after them. Did you like this video on photosynthesis? Click on the seal to subscribe to our Smile and Learn channel and stay tuned with new adventures.